Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today, actually literally like 14 seconds ago, they just put out the uh, weekly beta report 2, which is basically the second week of beta. And they're going to go ahead and, well, I guess we're going to go ahead and kind of discuss what's inside this. I haven't really read this yet, uh, but it, they've got the Act 8 deployment, some balance changes for the current beta, uh, Labyrinth Fall of Oriath release window, uh, the deploying of the new MTX system, and hideout decorations and crafting benches in beta because these were bugged. So, here we go, let's check it out. Uh, we're about to enter the third week, all right, just kidding, there's three weeks, Kappa. We're about to enter the third week of the beta for the fall of Oriath. We're expecting our next wave of changes to be deployed in the later part of next week. This update will also include Act 8. In the meantime, we have our second weekly beta report which discusses what our upcoming plans regarding Game Balance Act 8 fixes and some known issues. Since our first beta update last week, we received, uh, received a lot of feedback from players about the content they're playing. This has been really helpful and we're looking for your feedback on how you're uh, playing and using this data to make some changes prior to release. Act 8 Deployment. Originally, we had planned to deploy Act 8 this week. However, when we were assembling the quality of Act 8, we found several areas that we wanted to improve. Um, you can only get first impressions once. Since we're pushing the beta of Act Blah Blah to next week, this also pushed the intended wipe until that time as well. The following week, uh, two weeks from now, we will also update Act 6 and 7 with more improvements. Okay? Balance changes. There will be many adjustments to gems in relation to damage over time balance. The Decay Support Gem will do significantly less, 50% damage at level 20, and its duration has been reduced to 8 seconds. I don't actually think they needed to do this. I think they needed to nerf the damage like at the start and not at the end, but whatever. I actually don't even think this interrupts it from leveling. I still think that like leveling up is going to be retarded with Decay, but we'll see. Essence Drain will do more damage at 25. I had no clue they were going to buff Chaos Damage. Deadly Ailments will grant up to 39% more ailment damage and only 20% less damage with hits, bringing it more in line with other supports, um, support gems. I don't know how good that is. I know it was pretty extreme because it reduced the hit by an insane amount before. So I'm curious to see that. Unbound ailments uh, values will be reduced. More burn damage will have reduced damage bonuses. So that's the, the new support gem they adjusted from increased burn damage, I believe. Or maybe maybe that's just a multiplier they're adjusting. Perfect Agony Keystone will grant 30% of critical strike multiplier and 30% less hit damage. Wait, what? It is currently by far the best way to build ailment damage to an extreme degree. Perfect Agony Keystone will grant 30% of critical strike multiplier. So that means it's nerfed. 30% of, what is it now? Modifiers to critical strike multiplier apply to damage multiplier for ailments from critical strikes at 75% of their value. Now it's only 30% of their value? I don't really understand that. Um, I guess we'll figure that out later. Uh, brutality will grant up to 59% more damage at level 20, higher than it is currently, but it will also prevent dealing chaos damage, so it will only deal physical damage with supported skill. The above changes were, are planned because the supports and keystones were mandatory to produce worthwhile damage values for damage over time builds, and we'd prefer to keep the bonuses more consistent with other support gems to provide more flexible support. It got buffed, it's the same but with 30% multi in it. Is it really? I feel like it worded kind of weird. Anyway, maybe I'm just dumb. Uh, Flame Blast will have separate bonuses of spell damage and ailment damage per stage because it is by far the most effective way to apply ignites. With these changes, we will be able to balance ignite around a broader selection of skills rather than having to balance the ailment around flame blast. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. It, I'm pretty sure it says... It, it, the way it's worded, it says perfect agony keystone will grant 30% of, criti of critical strike multiplier, not 30% crit multiplier. And 30% less hit. It is currently by far the best way to build ailment damage to an extreme degree. Anyway, let's go on. Uh, we're happy with the potential levels of Ignite and Poison damage. I like how they didn't say anything about Bleed. Let me read that again. We're almost happy with the potential levels of Ignite and Poison. Insert Bleed where? Um, as a result of heavy investment at higher levels, so we will be, we work, or we will be working on fine-tuning these options and the tools to influence them throughout the progression. We're going to make more, cha more extreme changes to Bleed. More extreme changes to Bleed. Remember... Mr. YouTube, how you guys got really upset with me? You see how it says? We're going to be making some more extreme changes to bleed because they're almost happy with Ignite and Poison. I love you, YouTube. 
uh, including the potential of new bleed focus as Keystone. Oh, isn't that interesting? Anyway, let's move on, though. Um, Labyrinth. Next week's deployment will include access to, to the Labyrinths. The following week's deployment will include a rework of the Labyrinth. Holy shit! The following week's deployment will include a rework of the Labyrinth. Let's just stop. Let's read that out loud again. The following week's deployment will include a rework of the Labyrinth. Hmm. I feel like... I have to say that one more time. The following week's deployment will include the rework of the labyrinths. The following week's deployment will include the rework of the labyrinths. I thought you were a hot female, you two. Why do you sound like a not attractive female anymore? Let's go on. Uh, which will center around shortening the experience of the initial labyrinth and gradually introducing elements up to a full endgame labyrinth. It also includes a variety of improvements based on player feedback. Cool. Uh, the Fall of Oriath release window. We understand that players are very keen for us to predict a final release date for the Fall of Oriath so that they can lock in time off work. Uh, instead of predicting dates, we'd like to try to offer a transparent look at our current thoughts. So basically, they're telling you exactly what I say. I don't want to put up a stream schedule because fuck you. I'm just kidding, GG. I love you. We previously mentioned mid-July as our estimated release date. Given the team's growing ambition and desire to make sure problems the community have identified are fixed prior or properly prior to release it looks like it may end up being a few weeks longer whether this means late july or early august is too early predicted at this stage we'll keep you updated in subsequent posts i'm just gonna let you guys know it's probably gonna be late august uh deploying the new microtransaction system we are working through the problems uh we encountered with this Wait, we are working through the problems we encountered with this upon its initial deployment. As soon as we have a fix, we'll deploy this again. This has been slowed down by various factors like last week's promotional work. We're very sorry about the delay and we are working hard to get it up as soon as possible. We are working hard to get it up as soon as possible. We are working hard to get it up as soon as possible. That's what she said. Was this posted by Bex? No, it's by Carl. Feels bad. It will be deployed and working before three... It will be deployed and working before 3.0 releases, hopefully well before. Hideout decorations and crafting benches in beta. Giving, access, giving players access to their hideout decorations and crafting benches is another issue I've been working on and expect to have a solution, hopefully earlier than the microtransaction system, though they are potentially related. Interesting. How are crafting benches and microtransactions related? That's interesting. We wanted to thank the community once again for their hard work and dedication to providing feedback in the current beta content. This information has been extremely valuable to us, ensuring quality content come release time. If you're interested in joining the beta, please consider checking out the supporter packs for Fall of Oriath, Kappa. Uh, anyway, though, guys, that's pretty much about it. I just wanted to give you guys some beta feedback as I've been playing it a little bit. I've got almost five characters above 70, Kappa. Um, so yeah, so far it's been an interesting experience. Uh, I've really liked beta and I've really disliked beta and I've voiced a lot of my concerns, but I'm happy that they have they have responded to the concerns, like the broken crafting benches, not having Merc Lab. I guess they didn't really respond to that. Uh, there's just a lot of stupid shit happening in beta basically. And really the only thing people are saying is, oh, well, it's a beta, so there's supposed to be bugs. Well, you're supposed to still be able to play the game and enjoy it, right? But anyway, like I said, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Say hello to Twitch chat. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.